Okay, cool. Let's go. My Hero Academia 249. Um, Toya Todoroki, we've got a reveal for what he looks like. Chapter... At the end of chapter 249. So, guys, you know, I, f I feel like it is. I feel like we're getting the Dabi Todoroki theory. Because... Who else can it be? Like, we've gotten to a point where, me personally, I'm 97% sure. Maybe 97.5. But I'm 97% sure that this is Dabi. It can't be anyone else because... If not, this is like the biggest red herring that Horikoshi's done in this series. Like, who else can it be? I know, um, at first, I, to me, me personally, at first I was thinking, maybe it's, um, that ice guy, Geton, or the, what was his name? Apocalypto, something like that, I can't remember. He was working with the, um, he fought Dabby. He was working with, um, Green Goblin guy. Um, Redestro. Uh, but we know that Toya Todoroki had a fireside, and even, if you go to, I don't know what chapter is, I haven't checked that, I can't remember, but I did check the wiki. If you go, if you type in Toya Todoroki, um, on the Boku no Hero wiki, it tells you that he, his fire, his flames were even greater than Endeavor's, however, he couldn't stabilize it. That was the problem with all the other siblings. We know the whole backstory, you know, quirk marriages and that, we found this out in the sports festival. That's why when I was reading this chapter, I was like, hold up, how does Bakugo even know this? Because if you go back to the sports festival, this is like three, four years ago in the manga, so like, when I was... I was confused. I was just like, huh? like I was, yeah, I was spun. So if you go back to the sports festival, like four or five years ago, basically, or maybe three to four years ago, um, Todoroki reveals it to Deku because Todoroki is just like, what is All Might to you? And 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 this is back in the day when Deku's thinking, oh, he's gonna find out my secret. Like, oh no, no, no. So that's what Todoroki was like. And then Todoroki told Deku. Oh, my father, have you heard of quirk marriages? That's how my father and my mother met. That's the who caused the scar on my face, all that kind of stuff. That's when we found out. That's back in the day. And when that happened, Bakugo was waiting around the corner. So Bakugo's known since all this time. So I really love how um, Horikoshi kind of just tied that in. That was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Bakugo's known about this whole story. All, you know, the quirk marriages. And Devil wanted to create a child that can surpass all my Natsu, um, who we saw in this chapter, and Toyo Todoroki, Fuyumi, none of them could do it. He wanted someone that can have both eyesight and fire side and that can stabilize it. That was the problem with Endeavor. He couldn't control his heat side. The more that he used his heat, it, he was basically raising his internal body temperature. So he's burning himself. We see that with Dabi. We see that with Toya. Um, that his whole skin, his, his quirks called cremation. His whole skin has been burned off because of his fire. Like, his, his body just can't regulate it. He's not immune to the fire. Um... However, I feel like Todoroki's is. I feel like his is the best. I feel like, I don't know if his skin fully burns, but in this chapter, we see him a little bit scuffed up. So I don't know if that's about the fire side, you know. All those, we, he uses each side to regulate himself, basically. Um, so yeah, that's basically the whole backstory. If you guys have forgotten about that kind of thing. But yeah, this chapter, it was awkward. It was really, really awkward. So, you know, Endeavor is really going on a redemption arc, which I know some guys aren't really loving. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's... <sighs> Like, if the guy's trying to improve, let him improve, you know? Um, but people are really hating that Horikoshi's giving Endeavor screen time and all this kind of stuff. I mean, like, it is what it is. Like, me, I'm not about that kind of... I'm not on that side, you know? I'm not shy to it. Because I'm liking this redemption that Endeavor's taking. People don't really think Endeavor can truly be redeemable. I feel like, hey, um... See what Coach is doing in his character. Like, the character development's been pretty amazing. Um, and he, it's, it's really cool to just even see Todoroki and Fuyumi. Fuyumi, she's amazing, man. Like, how she's basically the glue. She's holding things together. It's not for her. Like, nothing would be working right now in, in regards to that, to that family dynamic. So, you know, Endeavor is really trying. Um, and is it me or did I... Is, am I the only person that got, like, death flags or very o ominous, ominous vibes? Like, it was very ominous in the sense that every time he said, oh, I keep having a dream of my family happy, but I'm not there. Is that alluding to the fact that for the, for the family to be okay for them to heal and get past that, they have to leave Endeavor, like they have to move past it, leave him in the past kind of thing? Or is that alluding to, like, Endeavor's gonna die? Or either way, Endeavor's not gonna be involved. Like, Endeavor wants to make right by his family but maybe him making right is by him leaving them alone i'm not really sure that's really really interesting to me um but we'll actually see um but yeah other than that there was something else i wanted to talk about 
Uh, what was I wanting to talk about? Damn, I even forgot. No, yeah, no, I remember now. So, in one of the translations, you'll see in, in probably an official viz. So, the letter, um, some people they didn't see because, you know, that letter wasn't translated. In one of the translations, it actually is. Uh, and it's Endeavor's mum. Not Endeavor's mum, no. Todoroki's mum talking about how, like, she's doing good at the hospital and hopefully she can come back and live with you guys. And I'm thinking, you want to live with them? Endeavor's living with them also. So how's that going to come down? So it is Todoroki is... is What's her name? Ray? Ray R? Ray? Is she moving back in and Endeavor's going to move out? Or is it going to be, like... I'm really interested about this whole dynamic and what's going on. But the dinner was pretty cool. Um, back in, yeah, it was just funny because it was so awkward. Like, Nats was just like, yeah, you know, you maybe haven't tried my food in the past. Because, you know, Endeavor didn't really want you to be eating my food. And then everyone was just like... And, like, it was just so awkward. It was kind of funny. But, like, I feel sorry for the guy. Um, to an extent, like, obviously, it's what it is. And it's, he, he made bad mistakes. But you can really see him trying. And... The only person that's, like, 100% allowing that is Fuyumi. Natsu, like, I see Natsu as, like, he's obviously still triggered at him and he still doesn't really... has He hasn't forgiven him at all. But he's more like... He's kind of like, I'm not buying it. He doesn't believe Endeavor's trying to change. So he's more of a, like, he's he can only forgive him. He just has to see the works, basically. Like, he's going to let him walk the walk if that makes sense however Todoroki is way 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 more conflicted he's in a position where like oh should I forgive you oh but I don't know because I really still feel kind of bad towards you but you know I can see you doing change and all that kind of stuff so I feel like Todoroki is confused but then Bakugo and Teku is just like which made some solid points because basically um Deku was just like if you hate him you would say that you're never going to forgive him but Todoroki really hasn't been saying stuff like that He's been like, oh, stop trying to fake it or whatever. But he's not... Re like, if he, if Todoroki really didn't want anything to do with him, he wouldn't do anything to do with him. But the fact that he's, like... He's even there and he's having patience rega in regards to him is something, you know? And they can watch... They can notice that. Um, but, yeah, let's kind of talk about Dabi and all this kind of theory. So, yeah, Dabi... I think it's affirmed now. Now, this is really weird. I'm not in touch with the culture within Japan or that kind of stuff, but I know some people are saying that at the end of the chapter when Endeavor goes into a room and it looks like a certain shrine or something, so it looks like, I don't know, as if that's representing he's died, or like has Toya died, or... I don't know, there's, there's, two, there's two plausible things. Either Toya's run away, or something bad's happened to Toya, as in he's dead. Um... I think it's more likely to he's dead, but I think in in that sense that they think he's dead and Toya's actually Dabi, so Dabi, yeah, he's not dead, but they think he is. Um, I have no clue, though. Like, we need a flashback ASAP on Toya. Like, we need to know what's going on because this is the biggest elephant in the room and what's really annoying me, like, not in a way like, oh, I hate it, but, like, it's so frustrating is that they always reference Toya. Like, Horiko, she's hitting it crazily, but no one's just like, so what happened to your older brother, by the way? Like, no one's just saying it. Or you'd think Natsu, who's so annoyed, he'd be like, Toya's dead because of you. Like, he's not saying anything like that, you know? So, like, I'm just like, Horikoshi, please, please give us this info. And I'm hoping it's this arc, you know? Um, because I don't know when else we're going to do it. But this is... I, I'm really enjoying it. We're really focusing on just the big three in Class 1A, and it's pretty cool. You're seeing how they're a bit... Like, not Todoroki, sorry. Bakugo's just becoming more... Um, like, friendly to Todoroki and Deku to an extent. Obviously, like, he, he's still got that brutish personality, but he's, he's, um, what's the word? He is withstanding them a bit more. Um, so that's pretty cool to see. Uh, but yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, you know, uh, if Toya is to Dabi. When I saw the picture at the end, I was thinking, mm, does that look like Dabi? I'm trying to think. It kind of does, but, you know, Dabi's skin and all that kind of stuff. And so it's, it's kind of hard. Also, Dabi's hair now is black. Toya's hair was originally red. I mean, maybe my guy dyed his hair. Probably. Uh, either way, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think this dream means, guys? Do you think this is an, a dream that's kind of hinting like the family can only be happy without Endeavor? Like, Endeavor's work, his, his attempts, 
it's not like his attempts can help, but his presence being there is not going to help. Is that what you guys think it is, or do you think Endeavor's going to die? Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Peace out, guys. Um, if you like what I say, please drop a like. That will be greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, subscribe for weekly reviews of Boku no Hero Academia. Click the bell icon to be notified uh, when a video drops. And that is all, guys. Peace out. Goodbye.